Hello everyone, in this video let's discuss how easily we can solve the distance vector routing algorithm or you can call it as the dynamic routing problem. So, we will be solving this in the two step. There will be given the graph or the tree. We will be solving the problem to get the shortest path. To find the shortest path from the source to all other. Let's consider A as the source. From A let's consider A as the source and find the shortest distance to all of them. Now we must write in the first step we will be writing the routing table for each and every vertex. 1, 2, 3, 4. You can call it as the vertex or the router. So this is for A, this is for B, this is for C, this is for D. Every router will be having the three components. components. One will be destination, distance and the next router. Destination, distance, next router. Now if you see for every router it must be having the information of all the routers. So let's write A, B, C, D. All the routers you must write. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. Now you try to move to all the routers with the directed edges. Here directed edges is not given. That is the direction of the edge is not given. So simply go with the edge weights. Now from A to A there is no self loop. So the distance will be 0 and you can go to A. Next from A you must go to B. From A you must go to B. It will be the distance of 12. The next router will be same. That is B only you must write. Next let's go to C from A. So its distance is 9 and the next router is C. That is what next router specifies the point at which the router information is standing. It is standing at the C when you came from A to C. You came from A to C and stand at the C like that. From A to D. From A to D it is 4. Now you stood at D. Now let's move on to the B router. From B you can go with 12 to A. From A to from B to A it is 12. From B to B there is no self loop, so 0. You are at B only because you are not moving anywhere. From B to C it is 1. From B to D there is no edge. That is direct connecting edge is not there. So you must write infinite and next router is don't move. Because you don't know the shortest distance to move for from B to D. So because there is no directed edge. Direct edge is not there. Next let's move to the C router. From C you can go to A with 9. From C you must move to B with 1. From C to C there is no self loop. So the value will be 0 of the distance and you will be at the C itself. Now you must move from C to D. Its value is 2. That the distance is to now you are at D. Now let's fill the D routing table. From D you can move to A with 4. From D to B. From D to B there is no direct connection. So you will be writing infinite. From D to C it is 2. You are at C itself. From D to D. From D to D there is no self loop. So the value of the distance will be 0. And you are at the D only. Now the last step. In the last step also you will be writing the routing table for all the routers. A, B, C, D with the same values. That is destination, distance and the next router value. Now let's write for all of them. A, B, C, D. Same. Destination will be same. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. Now what you must do is, you must search for the shortest path using other router also. Using other router. For example, from A to A there is no self loop, so the value will be equal to 0. From B to B no self loop, so the value will be 0 and you are at B only, here you are at A only. C to C no self loop, so 0, you are at C only. 
d to d no self loop is there so value is zero that is distance and you are at d itself now let's fill other values how you will fill from a to b you must move from a to b you can directly move from a to b like this with the distance of 12 or from a you can come to d from d you can go to c from c you can go to b other possible path that is a to d d to c c to b what will be the value from a to d it is 4 plus from d to c it is 2 plus from c to b it is 1 so 4 plus 2 is 6 6 plus 1 is 7 here we got the value as 12 here the value is 7 we will be checking another path whether it is there or not from a you can come to c from c you can go to b that is from a to c and c to b from a to c it is 9 and from c to b it is 1 it will be 10 so these are my three possible paths to move from a to b so what is the smallest value among 7 12 and 10 7 so i will be writing 7 as the shortest distance which are the router i used to move to b you from a I use it D and C. So I must write D comma C. I use it D and C to move to B with the shortest distance. Now from A I must move to C. From A I must move to C. One possible is direct that is 9. From A I can go to D and from D I can go to C. From A I can go to D. From D I can go to C. From A to D it is 4 plus from D to C it is 2. So its value will be 4 plus 2 is 6. Here I got 9. Here I got 6. Whether there is another the possible path. From A to B I can move. From B to C I can move. It will be 12 plus 1. That is 13. So among 13, 9 and 6 which is the smallest value 6. So I will be writing 6 here. And I used D to move from A to C. So I will be writing D. So which router you are using to move to there, that is the final goal, you must write that one. From A to D, from A to D, I can go directly with the shortest distance of 4 or I can move to B and then come to C and then come to D, that is 12 plus 1 is 13, 13 plus 2 is 15. Or I can move from A to C, that is 9 and C to D, that is 2, 9 plus 2 will be 11. So which is the smallest path? 4. So I will write 4. And directly I came from A to D. So just write D. Next from B. From B to A. From B to A. Here if you see from A to B 6 is. From A to B 7 is the smallest distance. Means from B to A also the smallest distance will be same. Because here the directed edge is not given. So you can write. If the smallest distance from A to B is 7, from B to A is also 7 only. So which routers we are used from A to B? D and C. Same will be used here also. D and C. Now from B to C. From B to C. The shortest distance is 1. Other possible paths are there. But if you see from B to C the smallest will be 1 only. So I use it C1. Next, from B, I must move to D. There is no direct edge. So, what I will be doing? I will be moving from B to A, A to D. It will be 12 plus 4 is 16. Or, from B to C, C to D. So, B to C is 1, 1 plus 2 is 3. And another possible is, from B, I will go to A, from A, I will go to C, from C, I will go to D. 12 plus 9 will be 21, 21 plus 2 is 23. Among 16, 3 and 23, which is the smallest value? 3. So, to go with the 3, what I used? I used C. Because from B I came to C, from C I came to D. I used C router. So, I must write C. Now, from C to A. From C to A. If you see, the shortest distance from A to C is 6 means, from C to A also it will be 6 only. So I will write 6. Which router I use? I use D router. From C to B. From B to C, the shortest distance is 1 means 
from C to B also it will be 1 only. I used the root of C. Now I must check for C to D. So it is, uh, it is the easy technique because all the values you will be getting here only. Once you done, you will get easily. From C to D. C to D the shortest is 2. And other possible paths are also there. From C to B, B to A, A to D like that. But they are all of the more cost. So the shortest distance will be of 2. I am using D only. Next I must write for D to A. D to A means from A to D, 4 is the shortest distance. Means from D to A also it will be 4 only. Using D. From D to B. From B to D it is 3. So here also 3 only you use it C. From D to C. From C to D, if it is 2 is the shortest distance. Here also from D to C also shortest distance will be 2. And you use a D, sorry. You use the root of D. Now we are completed with the problem. So you can tell from D to A, that is from the D router to A router, I can move with the shortest distance with the cost of 4. From D to C, I can move with 2. From B to B, from B to B it is 0. From B to C it is 1. What it is telling is you can find the shortest distance from all the router to all the router. From all the router to all the router. If you consider A, from A you can find all the shortest distance. From B you can find all the shortest distance. From C you can find all the shortest distance in this problem. Only two steps. Hope you understood the concept. If you have any doubt, please comment below. If you liked the video, please subscribe and support us because it will motivate us to make more engineering related topics. Thank you.